irrespective of the side of the political and social divide we may belong, we all share a common responsibility as leaders and ordinary people to advance and preserve the unity and corporate existence of Nigeria, which for me is the greatest honor we can ever give to the memory of the great Zik of Africa. Our diversity remains the abiding source of our collective strength and resilience. However, our diversity is under severe stress and even becoming rather a threat to our collective progress because of embedded fault lines in the existing political and economic structures of the country. The choice before us, therefore, is to build inclusive, equitable, and participatory political and economic systems where every one of our citizens justly benefits from the process of democracy. Our present constitution is not a touchstone. The law faculty here will understand what I mean. It was not written by the people of Nigeria. It was not approved by a national referendum. The federal government became enormously powerful, taking over mining rights, construction of interstate highways, major educational establishments, rail and water transportation, power and several infrastructure of responsibilities previously undertaken by the regions. Competition for the control of the federal government became intense and corrupted our electoral system.